Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. Another update on Everdome here. Like I say, I'm going to try to do one of these every single week. It's probably five days since I did the last one, so we'll have a look at what's going on in terms of price analysis. One key point to note that staking is ready to go live. I think they've just put a tweet out. We'll just check it on um, on Twitter. That their staking is going live very, very soon um, within the next few hours. So hopefully once people start locking up their Everdome, I think things will start to, to get a little bit better in terms of price action. Um, yeah, there you go. Rob Grin, um, who's got the dome ready staking we're about to take off. So T minus X hours. Hopefully with that, we will start to see a little bit of positive price action. But... The general market sentiment is pretty much horrific at a minute. The fear and greed index is low. Um, Bitcoin has just been continuing to drop. And ultimately, that has been bringing the price of Dome down and every other single asset. But it's been a fair launch. It's been a good launch. We've no had no major um, selling. Um, we obviously hit a whole time high, which was up here. So we'll just place it on there. So all time high was at 9.47. I actually managed to sell some of my pre-sale um, allocation there. Um, so waiting to get back in. And the level I'm waiting to get back in is here. I mean, we've got close to my entry zone, but this is a area of, you could say it's a four hourly support zone. In terms of Fibonacci, if you look at the entire move from the bottom there to the top, it has been bouncing nicely off this 618 level. And you know me, I'm a massive fan of Fibonacci and the golden ratio so that is it current support area there as you can see we've had multiple taps we've got um a couple of taps there there um, no closures below this line by the way taps there and there so it is a key fundamental area where the price is bouncing the golden ratio is where the price is bouncing up so if you're looking for buys let's have a look at a couple of key levels so personally if i was looking to buy now i would start laddering orders in from here 0.057 all the way down to my order i've got some orders here on these two weeks at 0 0.053 um so maybe three to four orders laddered down all the way down to 4.7 cent and just be wary if the market does go into state of um constant downward pressure ultimately it would come down and there's always a support level down here at 3.5 cent fingers crossed it does not happen but remember Every single week we have vesting unlocks. That means people, when we get their tokens, um, albeit 2% is quite a lot when it's all added up. People will sell their tokens because they want to take profit out of the asset. So just be wary that the price could come down to 3.5 cent. So just be um, be vigilant. And if it does come down to here, um, buy it up because it is a great asset. And long term, we have got a great vision. So that's your, your levels to potentially buy from 5.7 cent all the way down to 3.5 cent. That's areas where personally I will be looking, but I have got some orders here at 5.2 cent. Looking at the, the grand scheme of things, we have now entered a downtrend from the, the all time high. So if you look at this, this was a high, we hit it, tapped it there, and you can see multiple taps all the way down. And that is the level that we need to get back above. You could say that we are pretty much getting a bit of a squeeze going on here. Um, the price is constantly dropping down and rejecting off his trend line, but it has been supported by the 618. So it is coming to a bit of a pinnacle here where something really should happen. We have got this area here. So we're coming down to the 618 and also we are coming into this level of support, which is also a level of resistance. So hopefully we break out of it potential retest and then a push to the upside and look to take some profit there so levels to take profit is going to be here this is the first level to take profit at 7.1 cent and you could say look at all these candles around here 6.8 cent up to 7 cent could be a decent area for you to target but remember if we do reject then the price is going to continue to drop so if we come here we reject we could start coming down and you could get some orders filled down at 4.7 cent and like i say even below it if we do break above that then we might come down and test this region here but like i say bullish things happening it is a brand new project so if the price does come down do not worry because they've got big visions and we know that meta meta world metaverse is going to be the um a big highlight of the next two to three probably the next 10 years i think it's going to be um massive industry it's just getting started so 
I think now could be that that time where we do consider buying the dip when that dip comes. So for me, I'm always more in favour of bullish price action, but we've just got to be wary and take the opportunities if a price does allow and start coming down to these regions. Looking at the RSI, it's around mid ground, so we definitely got room for a pump or a dump to either side. Um, and for me, it's very indecisive. We have got a lot of bullish pieces of news coming up, but sometimes market sentiment can outweigh the news. So um, just take it steady and have a word of caution there. Looking at moving averages, um, we are on the hourly time frame. Remember, here there's not much um, point of doing any analysis on other time frames. Bearish cross up here. If we do break above here, you probably would see a bullish cross coming. Um, they are starting to narrow a little bit, these moving averages. We narrowed there, but then we had that drop to the downside. And currently, what we are doing is rejecting off the moving averages. As you can see, um, currently we're using the, um, the moving average 20 as a level of rejection. So every time we get up towards that 20, the price is rejecting. And very similar, if we do start getting to the 50, again, we're having um, rejections. If you look at this candle here, rejection rejection again that with rejection off that downtrend so we need to really get back above that 50 if we do manage to get back above a 50 we may be able to match the support and go up to this level but it is looking a little bit weary at a minute that's just um that's nothing to do with every deal match just for general market sentiment i think what will happen whenever bitcoin does break out whether that's tomorrow or whether that's in a year 18 months time whenever it does happen the fundamentals of assets that have been building within these bearish times will really show their true colours. So you've got assets like MetaHero and Everdome that have been constantly building, which have a real solid use case, which um, could be a catalyst for major growth in the future. Right now is that opportunity. One other thing to note on terms of MetaHero, um, their announcement this weekend was delayed, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, the price did reject it. We're looking good. It was pushing up towards that 10 cent region and it did reject. But that news is coming this weekend, all fingers crossed. What's your guesses to what the news will be? Drop it in the comments. If you've got any idea what you think or what your vision of this um, announcement will be, let, drop it in the comment and I'll get back to you. Personally, I said it on Twitter. I think that it's got something to do with potentially Etihad, potentially Manchester City and Sony all wrapped into one. I think it just goes hand in hand, and I think if Metero get a potential partnership with um, with Sony, with a potential uh, partnership with Manchester City, a potential partnership with Etihad, I think that could be an absolute monstrous deal. It may not be that, but that's my vision, um, and that's what I think could potentially happen. So that's it today. That's some thoughts on Everdome. Um, I wouldn't look at any other price um, profit taking above this level for now because we are bearish. Um, and that's just general crypto uh, market sentiment. So that's going to do it. If you are new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Smash that like button and I'll catch you next time.